There's always uh, a little bit of saying, if you don't sacrifice anything to the demo gods in the morning, uh, you're going to get things like this. So next time I'm going to drop my iPhone in the toilet before I go on stage. That was learn and lead in Amsterdam. Early in the morning, you do the preset testing and see if everything's correct. It's basically a packed room with a bunch of people that are looking forward to using our product. We've actually set up each of these individuals with a user account. They're starting to set up sample websites with sample widget experiences where customers are directly interacting with customer support agents in these fictitious organizations. They can ask whatever questions they want and get back answers that actually reflect what their businesses actually do. So we have this quite intricate playground environment. They had a presentation part first. It took like 15 to 20 minutes. And the presentation went well, and then I went to my demo. Completely convinced that my demo would be working because I tested just prior before. I started typing at the agent, and it immediately responded with uh, the very dreaded message, sorry, I'm unable to process your request right now. Please try again later. And that was immediately also on the screen. So there's no hiding from the audience what just happened. Everybody sees it on big 100 inch televisions right in front of their eyes. A lot of things were going through my head. A lot of Dutch swear words. A lot of them in rapid succession after each other. And I'm now on my phone and I'm messaging folks and saying, hey, listen, we might have an incident here. Can you start to look at this immediately? While I'm having this invocation, I'm sitting face to face, mind you, with a table full of prospects and a couple of solutions engineers. They're all looking at me and wondering, what is this guy going to be able to do in the next 20 minutes to make us happy? The test starts to look at the logs and says, it looks to be that the agent is trying to plan around invoking skills that it simply cannot access. Pushbu immediately says, yes, we did make an authorization change this morning. In 11 minutes, we identified the problem, conveyed the issue, looked at logs and decided we were going to revert this issue. It was pretty cool to get it done so quickly. And so we were able to move pretty smoothly to the next steps without a hitch. But I would have to say for those 15 minutes, it definitely felt a bit hotter in that room. The problem was somebody made a change in the back end right at the moment I was on stage. So the timing could not have been worse. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. It was a great reminder of the, the speed, accuracy, the personalization of computer, uh, not just for us as you know somebody that's living on DevRev, but really for all DevRev computer users. That first impression that you know every engineer wants to make with their product didn't go quite as planned. I think people understood that you know these are important safety considerations and within the governance and safety conversation, everything we discussed with them and we we're quite transparent about it. My biggest concern is that we're still in YOLO mode when it comes to deploying agents as an industry. <laughs> I think this year, 2025, has been the year of agents and skills. I think these are all sort of areas where obviously I lose sleep because we're trying to do a really good job, not just for ourselves, but for our customers who are going to build their agents and skills on top of our platform. Uh, what I've realized with agents is that you need to have just the highest level of sophistication in terms of how you deploy and manage these services because you will have many services that are interacting to create an experience. Hey folks, I'm Chris. We make these videos because we know there's a ton of marketing material out there telling you how AI is going to change everything. But we figured it'd be more interesting to show you how AI is changing us here at DevRev as we're using it to build computer for all of you, even if it's sometimes messy or a little weird. If that sounds like something you'd be into, we hope you'll drop us a like, hit subscribe, and maybe come back and see us sometime on LinkedIn or on YouTube. Regardless, thanks for stopping by, and we hope we'll see you again.